Hello, this is Brian Lawfer, Vice President here at Aspire Technologies. This video will introduce you to the new optional item features added in QuiltWorks version 4.6. 4.6 brings the QuiltWorks community option groups. Now items can be set as mutually exclusive, and groups can even be flagged as optional. These seemingly small features have far-reaching effects and are particularly useful used in conjunction with Quilt Valet. So let's go ahead and create a quote here and let's pretend that the customer called us up and said that they wanted um, some options for some TVs and maybe some iPads for instance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use one of the other new features that we added uh, which are the headings. So let's go ahead and create one for TV selection and we'll go ahead and add another one for iPad selection and do okay all right so what i'm going to do now is go ahead and go to products here go to specials and we'll go ahead and add our tvs first so we've got our tv let's go ahead and add that under tv selection and we've got this tv let's also do the same thing okay and then we'll also do our ipads as well and we'll do ipad append ipad append and delete that line. Okay, so at this point, uh, what we've got are um, our TVs and our iPads. They're not flagged as optional yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on this first TV here, go to Line Attributes, and say Optional Yes. Okay, do OK. And we'll go ahead and do that with all these other items as well. And we can speed this up by s multiple selecting them and uh, go to Line Attributes, Optional, and say Yes. Okay, so that's great. We've got them as optional, but the problem is now our subtotal is zero. And if we click on print and preview what this quote's going to look like, you know, we've got our TVs, and then we've got our iPads, but they're all optional. All right. So what we can do is we can flag these as optional and set one of them maybe as being selected. So we can do that. Is selected. Okay. So that's good. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what that looks like. Preview. All right, so now the 73 inch TV is optional and 65 is not, and so on and so forth. Um, I should say they're, they're both optional, but the 65 is the one that's selected here. All right, and this can be customized to say whatever you want. It doesn't have to say optional selected. We do have a setting for that. Um, okay, so that's, that's, new, uh, that's a new feature. We can say which one is actually selected, which is great. And now we've got the subtotal reflecting each one of these. And the green are optional, and the ones that are, uh, not, op are not green are optional selected in this case. OK, so that's good. Um, but let's take it a step further and actually add these to, whoops, let's go ahead and add these to an optional group. So we're going to say yes, but this time we're going to create a new group called TV. Click on OK. So now, if we notice down here, we've got it set as TV. Now what that means is if I was to select this one as selected, now the, the top one is deselected. Likewise, if I select the top one as being selected, the bottom one is deselected. So that way it's easy to swap back and forth and we make sure that we're not going to be double charging for a TV, for instance. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and insert a comment here and say, you know, we suggest using the 73 inch TV. Okay, all right, so we've got that comment in there. And we're going to do the same thing with the iPad selection here. So we'll go ahead and do iPad. Okay, and double click, and we're going to select iPad down here. Okay, so now if we click on print and preview, there we go. So we've got the, uh, the comment with which one we suggest, which is the one that we've got selected. And we've got our different iPad selections. All right, great. So we've, we've done that. So let's go ahead and add another uh, heading here. And we'll just call this additional options. Oops, put that in the wrong place there. And uh, what I'll do now is go ahead and add some more items to our quote. And we'll go ahead and add maybe an Apple TV, do additional options, and uh, maybe an Xbox. Okay, and we'll do that additional options there. All right, great. Okay, so um, so now uh, we'll go ahead and set them as being um, 
optional yes, but we're going to have them both be selected. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Additional options, optional selected, and optional selected. Okay, good. So now we've got these uh, created. Now let's go ahead and add one more section, and we'll go ahead and do insert. Actually, let's do that about here. Let's go ahead and insert another heading. And this one, we're going to do TV um, accessories. Okay. And let's go ahead now and add a group. Okay. Um, so we'll do, go to bundles here and we'll do that one. Oops. Let's actually put that down there. And we'll do one more. So that was the first one. Let's do the second one. Okay. And so what we've always been able to do the, in the past is set them, um, you know, just go ahead and have them in here. But what we're going to do now is we're actually going to have these be optional, is selected, and we're going to add a new group called TV Options. Okay. And we'll also make this one optional. Yes. And we'll make that part of TV Options as well. So as you can see, we're building this. Um, so the, cu the customer will be able to select different options. So let's go ahead and preview this one more time. Okay, so we've got our TV selections, got our iPads, we've got our additional options with them both being selected, and now we have our TV accessories as well. And we've got our total down at the bottom. Okay, so this is great. You know, we've got the ability to really build on, um, you know, be able to have the customer select different options. You know, we could do good, better, best selections if we wanted to in here as well. Um, and uh, in my intro, I, I talked about using it with Quote Valet. So let's see what these different option selections actually do when we're using Quote Valet. All right. So what I'm going to do is just bring in a contact here, and we'll use John as my option here, and we'll go ahead and save this quote. Um, we'll just call it Quote Valet Options there. And what we're going to do is go ahead and bring this up to Quote Valet. And we'll go ahead and view the PDF to make sure everything's going to look the way that we want it. Okay. Everything looks good. And I'm just going to click on Upload here. Okay, so this is uploading everything to Quote Valet. And uh, I'm not going to go through the whole Quote Valet um, example here because, you know, We'll be creating some other videos on that. But what I am going to do here is preview it on the web page in Quote Valet. And we'll bring this over here. Okay, so for those of you that have never seen Quote Valet before, this will be a, a little treat here. Um, so as you can see, um, we've got our TV selections. Um, and you remember from the quote that we just created, we had the 73 inch be the one that selected. But if we wanted to, the customer could go against our suggestion and select the 65 inch TV. Under iPad selections, they can select one or the other, but not both. Okay, But then we had those additional options for the Apple TV and the Xbox. Maybe in this case, we don't want to go with the Apple TV. Um, but as you can see, the are, they are not mutually exclusive. I could select all or one or none of them if I wanted to. If we scroll down, we'll see those TV accessories that we selected. And maybe in this case, the customer is going to say, hey, you know what, $5,000 is way too much for the, that package, so I'm going to go with the $800 selection. Apply those select suggestions, selections there, and you'll notice that our subtotal has now changed. So now we've got that 3500 So from here, um, this will be updated inside of QuoteWorks, and you know we'd have that, um, that quote ready to go, and the customer can even ex accept the quote right here in Quote Valet. So as you can see, the mutually exclusive um, as well as the option groups are, are great within QuoteWorks. So um, if you have any questions on this functionality, please feel free to give us a call, 407-248-1481. Uh, Again, 407-248-1481. You can also reach support at support at QuoteWorks.com. And for more information about Quote Valet, reach our sales team at sales at QuoteWorks.com. Thank you and have a great day.